and I think I still don't have the words to describe that gastronomical experience. So, I have just left the hostel here in Lima, Peru. This is the first stop on the Gringo Nation world tour. And today I'm with my friend Nina and we are gonna grab some typical Peruvian fruit. So here they call it menu del dia, menu of the day. We wanna eat like typical Peruvians today, so let's go check out the restaurant. So we just sat down at a typical Peruvian restaurant just outside the hostel, down the street, and we have ordered our food. Here are the drinks now. Free drinks with it as well. Thank you. Muchas gracias. What is this? Carambola. Ah, carambola, sí. Okay. Cool. I don't know how to say carambola in English, but... So you get the juice and you get a full plate of food. I've ordered the fish and Nina has ordered the chicken. So, quite similar to Brazilian food actually, so we'll see how different it really is. Good food, good cheap food. Around 350 euros. I live in a euro world, not in the US dollar world. <laughs> Salud. So the starters have arrived and Nina got a soup that's looking pretty good, full of meat and pasta in the soup. And I got these potatoes that have some creamy white cheese. So quite nice all accompanied by star fruit juice. We just found out the name of this. So far, so good. Let's see what the main dish is like after. This soup looks amazing. And it's so much more food than your starter. Yeah. <laughs> give it a go, give it a go. <laughs> Let's try. That's good. Nice. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it's warm. It's not hot, it's warm. Okay, so the main dish has arrived and mine is chicken with rice, beans and salad. Although these beans, they're not like Brazilian beans. These are more like a lentil, but they call them frijoles, which is beans. So really good food, large quantity of food. Nina got herself some chicken with rice and a bit of my starter on her plate as well. So excellent choice for lunch today. And I'm happy that I haven't tried your starter because I have part of it on my plate. That's true. <laughs> yeah, you have the, the creamy sauce there. We just finished lunch at the typical Peruvian restaurant and we just walked down the street to John F. Kennedy Park to go get some cake and coffee. Let's see how much a cake and coffee costs here in Lima. Cats galore here at John F. Kennedy Park, everywhere you look. And it seems you can adopt cats. If you look into this green house here, you'll see there's a little kitty. You adopting any cats today? No, but I would adopt all of them <laughs> if I could. Okay, we have found our next destination. It's this black and white place here called Dulce Ciudad. So, sweet city, here we come. Time for some cake and coffee in Lima, Peru. So we have opted for the cheesecake Oreo. It's quite massive, so we're gonna share this baby. And now we're in the Instagram portion of the cake and coffee. And one cappuccino coming up, second coffee of the day. And I don't know how much I can share with you. <laughs> so more coffee for you and more sweets for me. <laughs> we can negotiate, I suppose. Cappuccino is here. Lovely, just gonna put a little sugar in that baby. And all right, first try of the Oreo cheesecake. Looking pretty splendid, nice and cold. So tasty. Heaven, I'm in heaven. Really good. Our sweet connoisseur. <laughs> yeah, really good. You really can taste the Oreos in there. The temperature and the consistency is really good. Yeah. Destroy it. Yeah. <sighs> what food pregnancy is <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and I again shared my cake with you yes I don't want to have cake friends <laughs> yeah. no I like to share my cakes with you thank you when do we get the next one because I just had half of a cake yeah. it's day two of this epic food tour around Lima Peru and we are back in John F Kennedy Park Cat Haven, and we're going to a famous uh, sandwich shop here in Lima called La Lucha Sandwicheria. I think they have classic 
Peruvian food mixed with sandwiches, so we're gonna go see what that's all about. And it's just right here next to John F. Kennedy Park, so you can walk from here. That's what we're gonna do. Let's go. Lucky number 30. Bread with chicken, tomato, and salad without mayo because I don't like it. I think it's a German thing to eat chicken with ketchup. I just put ketchup on it. That's good. Good. You can see it's dropping. Yeah. I think it's just from the chicken. Food has arrived and I'm very excited about this. Uh, so I got a fried pork belly sandwich. It's called chicharron, very traditional here in Lima. And I got a bit of a combo, so it comes with like artisanal fries. And this is called chicha morada, so it's a drink made from purple corn. It's my first time having it, so. Wow, very interesting taste. It almost tastes like wine without the alcohol. <laughs> Refreshing though, and a uh, strong taste, but I really like it, it's nice. I wouldn't say it's wine, it's more like cold fruit tea. And the first bite of the chicharron sandwich, fried pork belly. Very tender. And I'm looking forward to putting these sauces on it. Fries are fries. You know what to do with these. Very nice homemade mayonnaise too. Delicious. All right, I've gotten through half of the sandwich. And here's the other half. I put some onions in it and the spicy sauce that they give you. That's the pork belly there. The drinks with the fries and the chicharron sandwich was a total of 570 US dollars. So tons of awards on the wall. New York Times, Bloomberg, you name it. So definitely worth coming here to check out La Lucha. Cheers. It's now day three of this food tour and you cannot come to Lima without trying the ceviche, of course. I've already had some supermarket ceviche, but today I'm going for something a little fancier. I'm walking now to a restaurant called Al Toque Pes, which was recommended to me by a local here, so it should be really good. And I'm very excited about this ceviche experience, so let's walk now to Al Toque Pes. What I will say is that the seafood restaurant is on this very busy avenue behind me, so be prepared for a lot of cars, vans, and buses honking away. <laughs> Nevertheless, I have made it here to Al Toque Pez, but I'm on the wrong side of the street, so I'm gonna cross now. And it looks like it's a really tiny restaurant, and there's a line out the door, as you can see, so I'm not sure I'll be able to sit there. But I am going to grab some food and probably take it back to the hostel. So let's go see what happens at Al Toque Pes. I just left Al Toque Pes and I think I still don't have the words to describe that gastronomical experience. So no pun intended, but let this marinate for a second. We'll get right back to you. Now that I'm sitting here at the park, I think I can finally talk about what that experience was like. First of all, I had no idea, but that restaurant was featured on a Netflix doc called Street Food Latino America. I'm guessing it was already a pretty popular spot, but after the show aired, of course, everyone wanted to go try their now world famous seafood. And I can definitely understand why it's so famous now. The flavors were through the roof. I got a combinado, which is like a combination of dishes, so I had ceviche chicharron that you saw previously in this video except this one was more like deep fried and crunchy and some rice with seafood all of them were incredible and it really hurt my heart that i had to leave there some on the plate but it's just too much food for one person if you do go there as a couple you can probably share the dish that i just had and all of that for the low low price of 650 usd come on al toque pes a must go here in lima peru
If you do go to the restaurant, just know that you're going to have to wait about 45 minutes to be seated and there's a chance you won't be able to get a seat. In that case, you can get takeaway, which is what they usually do. Just be prepared to wait a long while in line, but it will definitely be worth it. Now that I've been able to show you all the culinary delights of Lima, Peru, just click on this playlist here so I can take you through another food tour somewhere else in the world. See you over there in three, two, one.